are tuned into Hollywood TV. My name is Mavis Tosh and this is Inside Hollywood, the program that brings you top headline stories from the Cameroon and entertainment industry. Now, the past few years have recorded a massive improvement on the quality and quantity of movies that we've had in Cameroon. This is a huge success for the country as we're getting to have more positive competition, which is directly obliging movie makers to improve on content quality so as to fit into the international space that we are creating for ourselves. There are more job openings in the industry, more award ceremonies and red carpet events to keep entertainers busy all through. And more money is being made from the quality content. And we must say to all movie makers that we appreciate the good work that you're doing and kudos to all your efforts. Now let's take a look at what has been happening as far as movie production is concerned within the last few months. We begin with The Planter's Plantation that was released a couple of months ago. Guys, I have never been so elated to talk about a movie. Now this blockbuster directed by Easton Young Jr has been the pride of Cameroon to this day. Right from its release, The Planter's Plantation has won so many prestigious awards, including the phenomenal 26th edition of the Grand Noir Film Festival that was hosted this year in Cameroon, where the movie went home with three awards in the categories of Best Film, Best Actress, and the Golden Screen. The Planter's Plantation has also been recorded as the first Cameroonian movie to be nominated at the African Magic's Viewer's Choice Awards in Nigeria, where the movie's leading actress, the multiple award-winning Nemo Lovelin, graced the red carpet with so many dazzling costumes. But the most remarkable one for me being the traditional Togo outfit from the Northwest region of Cameroon. Now we can but say that Nemo is a screen diva and a national treasure that should be preserved. The movie also won Best Feature Film in the prestigious Cameroon International Film Festival that we're going to talk about in a bit. But first, let's talk about a blockbuster, a movie that has been directed by one of the best music video directors that Cameroon has ever had. We're talking about the movie Lac Sulu, recorded as one of the most anticipated movies of all times in Cameroon. The movie Laxalu totally met our expectations and even exceeded. Directed by Dr. King Steven and starring some of the biggest names in the industry like Dwala Dwala, Evi Sashiri, Anurin, Ewube Jennifer, and Fonte Collins. The trailblazer movie that exhibits the finesse of Cameroon martial arts is a winner of the Brussels Capital Film Festival in the category of Best Feature Films, the Aten International Monthly Art Film Festival in the category Best Costume Design, and has also gotten a nomination at the Denver Film Awards. For a man who does nothing short of perfection, we couldn't but expect the best from Dr. Ken Stephen. Like he will always say, we take another shot. And the next on our list is the most talked about Half Heavens. Yes! A Czech Sense production, as produced by Karista Songai, popularly known as La Belle, and directed by the legendary Edna John Scott. Released on June 2nd, 2023, the movie stars some of Cameroonians' finest movie icons, including Cindy Emade, Sehofa Roland, Mavis Anne, and Chidimo Kemo of Nollywood. Half Heaven has made history as it is the first Cameroonian movie recorded to have generated 6 million CFR in just four days after its official premiere. The movie is currently being rated as the most popular Cameroonian movie and it is still being projected in cinema halls in both Cameroon and Nigeria. And so far, the feedback has been awesome. The internet has been blown away. If there's an event in the film industry that is making me proud, it is the prestigious Kamif Cameroon International Film Festival that holds in Boya every year. But this year, it was remarkable, and we're going to talk about it. So over time, Kamif organizers have been highly criticized, and it has been observed by so many, especially on social media, that they've been sending away celebrities that were not properly dressed for the event. But guys, I think this turned out so well for the event. Don't you think so? This year, it was different and spectacular. I mean, the costumes stood the internet still for close to one month. The glamour, the quality of outfits that we saw on the red carpet this year was something that left social media on edge for close to a month. In fact, everybody became a fashion critic. This has left designers, hairstylists, and makeup artists extremely happy as they are now sure that every year, their services will be highly solicited. And we must say that it was an extremely colorful event. Kudos to all movie makers who are doing their best for entertainment as far as this country is concerned. Now let's talk about some other happenings beyond Hollywood. Now there's been a lot of saga going on online, but we're going to talk about some two things that have kept the internet still for a couple of weeks now. We begin with the story of a Cameroonian lady 
who reportedly hails from women in the Northwest region of Cameroon, that has come out to lay claims about being the biological mother of Nollywood star Messi Johnson. You don't know me. I said, how you do know me? If I not introduce myself for you, you can't know me. Now this blood test could show who I am with you and Messi. I know that Messi, my wife, I'm not here to take away your wife or to say may your wife not be your wife again. Ha! At first, some of us thought it was just, you know, stories, but apparently it could be true. Now, in a video that has been circulating in social media, the lady claims that she has waited in Nigeria for six years to conduct a DNA that would prove her maternity of Mercy Johnson. She however, she, however, says that the Nollywood star and her husband have refused giving her the opportunity. Now, social media users have been making observations that a DNA might not even be necessary because there seems to be a striking resemblance between this woman and Mercy Johnson. A few days ago, the lady's other daughter came online, wailing and crying. According to the stories on social media, she is also an upcoming actress in Cameroon, and she's been crying and saying that social media users should help beg her sister to accept her. I'm begging on the general public to help me. <laughs> Help me get to my older sister. Terrible, right? Now we move from Cameroon to Nigeria. And from Nigeria, we're moving to Ghana. And our focus today will be on an actress, a supermodel turned producer, Yvonne Nelson. Oh my God, I have never seen so much criticism on a book within just a few days of release. Now, Yvonne published a book titled, I Am Not Yvonne Nelson. Apparently, it's a memoir of her life where she recounts a whole lot of things. Some stories are actually even jaw-dropping. Now, first she mentions her relationship with the famous Cameroonian singer Iyana, where she says he was cheating on her with a popular Nollywood actress in the name of Tonto DK. Now, Tonto has come out to refuse these allegations even in the past. Social media has been going crazy. People are saying a whole lot of things. Others saying that you cannot take your social life into a book or talk about your exes as if they were demons and that she has her own side of the story. Tell us guys, what do you think? Do you think it's a positive thing for someone to want to write their memoir and mention her boyfriend so people that she did it in the past and what happens and what's the reason why they fell apart, especially if they're celebrities? To me, I think Yvonne is a smart woman and she's just living her life. But what do you think? We want to hear your opinions in the comment section. But before we leave her story, we also want to mention Ghanaian rapper Sakodi. She mentioned that she had an affair with Sakodi too in the past and that Sakodi made her pregnant and rejected the pregnancy and that his rejection of the pregnancy obliged her to abort the baby. What do you think? Do you think that she is a victim? Well, she was a sinner. Tell us. Yes, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Yes, it's the moment for our top four movies of the week. Now, these statistics were attained through public voting by the prestigious IMDb. Let's look at the four movies that have been declared the most popular of the week. So in the first place, we have Nuit Blanc. Nuit Blanc is directed by Alain Blesemba starring Mireille Blanche, Laurent Boyomo, and a couple of other French Cameroonian actors. In the second position, we have uh, the phenomenal, the legendary Fisherman's Diary that was directed by Anna John Scott, starring Kang Quintus, Faith Fidel, Kosan Chinopo, Ramsey Noah, and a couple of bold faces from the Cameroonian film industry. Now, in the third position, we have Half Heavens, directed by Anna John Scott, that stars Cindy Emade and Eric Siofa, Chidi Mokome, and Lillian Beng. And the fourth on our list, but not the least, is The Child of Another. Now, this movie is directed by Jean-Pierre Dikongwe, uh, starring uh, actors like Philip Abia, uh, Dikongwe Pipa, David Ndene, and a couple of others. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we put together for you in this episode of the show. We hope you did enjoy it as much as we did here at the studio. Please do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload another video. And don't go anywhere. We would like to hear your impression. We would like to hear your contributions on what you think can be done to better the show on the comment section. We love you. And until I see you next week, it's bye for now.